Well, it's a beautiful sunny day here in Bordeaux and I'm joined now by All Blacks' George Bauer. But George, sadly, you're not playing in this World Cup. Do you want to tell me about why you're here in France? Yeah, so, yeah, unfortunately not available to, to be a part of this World Cup, but um, another opportunity's kind of popped up and travelling around France in this baby here, um, we call it the Humbug, I'm part of the NZR Plus's uh, Front Row Daily Show and just myself and Andy Ellis, Alma Smith, LJ and Stacey Walker and we're pretty much in this truck driving around supporting the boys. Yeah it is a rather interesting perspective I guess to be experiencing a World Cup for yourself as a player. What's that been like being sort of on the other side of things? Yeah it's a definitely different perspective, I'm seeing it from this side of of the footy, usually I'm, you know, used to the other side, but um, no, it's, it's been very awesome, and uh, I guess I'm uh, now realising that um, the influence that rugby players can have on the on the public, on on the next generation through social media, through things like this, it's like, oh man, going back to footy next year, I'll be like, oh yeah, I'll try and have to utilise it a bit more because um, boys do have influence through social media and through things like that. So you had a press conference last week asking a couple of questions. Is that really odd as well, being in that sort of situation in the more sort of formal setting and asking you know teammates questions? Yeah, I, I, um, for me, it's yeah, I would, I'd head to the press conference and just, um, I guess, try and get a smile from them and and give them a bit of a comfortable feeling seeing that you know I'm there and because sometimes it is quite intimidating um, coming up to a press conference for a rugby player so um, and, and my questions are not, not too serious at all so as soon as I ask it they, they have a bit of a laugh and they'll answer. And, is yeah. it challenging at all I guess like with the relationship in that with you know having to kind of I guess you could maybe say like a rookie journalist kind of role but I know you're not asking too many serious questions but yeah. a little bit challenging at all? Um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's uh, Preparing the questions, yeah. I'm like trying to think uh, what's the best questions and not, you know, in a way that, you know, we'll ask him too, too much in depth kind of thing. I don't want to get to that side, but um, yeah, apart from that, uh, it's, it's, it's all good because at the end of the day, they are my, my friends and I'm just asking them a kind of a question just to get some, yeah, get some info from them, but it's, yeah, nothing too, too serious, so. <laughs> and what have you thought about France so far? We've been to a few cities now. Yes, yeah, it's, oh, it's awesome. It's a beautiful place. Um, before this year, I've only been to Paris, so now for me to kind of travel through to Lyon, Toulouse, um, here in Bordeaux, uh, I've, been, I've been enjoying my, what, th three weeks already and um, the people, the food, the culture, um, yeah, and I'm looking forward to the rest of the tournament and just kind of getting to see, you know, France. Have you been able to keep up and watch some of the other World Cup games so far? Because there's been some rather interesting results. Yes, yes. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't, but I, I definitely want to go and watch, um, uh, 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 yeah, any other teams. But um, yeah, haven't managed to get out to any. Um, but it's yeah, been some awesome results. I mean, obviously Fiji um, beating Australia for me that was yeah, quite close to my heart because I am Fijian um, and. Uh, and also a few few other good games like Uruguay and France, Uruguay keeping, you know, a one point difference until like last 20 minutes. So for a small nation like that to be up against one of the world's best and, and have a, a game like that is, is pretty cool too. So everyone loves an underdog. So um, anytime an underdog team's going up against a big dog, you know, they're gonna go for that team. So um, it's happened before and it, you know, it could happen again. And, and that's the exciting thing about this World Cup. And um, I'm looking forward to, Few more underdog stories, uh, maybe Fiji. Let's yeah, go, maybe Fiji. Some more Fiji. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and if people want to keep in touch uh, or keep up with what you're doing, um, where can people watch the show? Um, yeah, so uh, NZR Plus um, have got a platform there, kind of like your, your Netflix or your Disney Plus, but it's NZR Plus and um, it's got all sorts of shows and obviously you've got the front row show on there as well. Um, and it's, yeah, a new platform and everything's on there. So get onto that and um, and watch all our shows, it's daily shows, so we're popping something out every day and um, just, yeah, bringing the vibe of the World Cup, so, yeah. Awesome, hey, thank you so much, George, for your time, really appreciate sure. it. Enjoy the rest of your week here in Bordeaux. Thank you. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.